Hello world, it's Curtis Potter with Boundless Inspiration. We're doing this series on the underdog. And um, sorry if I get a little, little winded, I just got done working out, I'm in the sauna. Uh, but in this series, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about is the pain versus the gain. So it was two days ago that I did my leg day <laughs> and I'm telling you, like, it hurt to squat down and tie my shoes today. Um, you know, that's that's a pain. And then, um, you know, I did chest yesterday and arms today. And I was on a limited time schedule. So, I mean, I just put it in on my arms. And it's to the point where I, <laughs> it's, I was struggling to hold this phone up. So, the thing is, is I have that pain. And whenever I'm in comparison of not only where, where my goals are for my year workout regimen and the um, competitions that I'm going to be in this year, like I already have a Spartan race that I'm going to do in May and a body fitness, like a um, body fat type um, um, goal at the end of the, this year, 2022. You know, I, I have goals for this year for, for, you know, all areas of my life. And it's like at the end of that year or when my deadline is for the goal, do I want the pain of not reaching them or the pain that I have to push through, especially like this week, the, the pain that my legs are in, my arms are in, my abs, you know, so, so there's, there's going to be pain in either which way. Um, for instance, your finances, there's a pain of being broke, you know, because there's things you want to do in life that you just can't financially do. But then there's also pains of um, achieving those financial goals, like putting in the, the work at a job or growing a business or investing, you know, doing the proper research on your investments to make that financial gain. So to be poor, there's pain. To be wealthy, there, there's pain. Some are just more rewarding. Um, you know, even when it comes to, to working out, you, you either have the pain of, of exercising routinely, you know, even if it's just elevating your heart three, uh, 30 minutes a day or at least five times a week, eating healthy, telling yourself no when you want to eat some of those foods that your emotions are creating that you want to eat, like I'm, I deserve this. You know, there's that pain of saying no to those foods or saying yes to the gym and, and investing that money into the gym membership. Or there's going to be pain of having to go to the doctor on a routinely basis, especially in your elder years. You know, and then, and then not only the financial side, like, hey, eating healthy costs a lot of money. Going to the gym costs a lot of money. Well, so does prescriptions that you have to eventually get. So do doctor visits. You know, insurance only covers so much. So it's like, are you willing to put in that pain now to get your gains in a positive way or are you willing to take it easy and stay comfortable now to have those pains that are actually a lot harder in life you know the, one of the biggest reasons i started down my health regimen a long time ago when i was a kid was seeing my father in the hospital three different times where you know two of the three of the doctors came in and said yes you know we're pretty sure that we're going to get him through this this uh, procedure but the last time you know, when my dad had a heart attack, they were like, look, you probably should just go ahead and say your goodbyes because we're not really sure he's going to get through this one. And I'm thankful that my dad stopped smoking cigarettes at that point and, you know, started drinking more water and watching what he eats and how often he eats and what he eats before bed. Now, a lot of times he'll eat popcorn before bed instead of all those snacks and, and candies and ice cream and stuff that he used to. You know, so for him, it took a dramatic experience of, of not even knowing if he was going to live through that night in order to realize that pain that he no longer wanted and the pain he had to go through of saying no to the things that he deep down wanted. It was so good in your taste buds and your emotions and your feelings, you know. But that was a lie and it was just it was just inching him closer to his death. So today I just ask you, like, are you willing to put in the pain for gain instead of not putting in the pain that's necessary to have a more extreme negative pain further on in your life? Are you willing to 
put in the pain of doing the things to make your relationship better? Or are you gonna have the pain of the relationship fails and then you say, shoulda, woulda, coulda, when you finally look yourself in the mirror and like, man, this is how I had an impact on this relationship and this is what I had to do um, that was negative to it that, that put us in this situation and, and I was the one that resisted that change. You know, so that pain of, of either doing, go into marriage counseling, even if you're not marriage, like premarital counseling and just whatever it is. Um, and I saw this video by Keanu Reeves and um, somebody was saying, are you a lover or a fighter? And he said, to be a lover, you gotta be a fighter. And he said, why? And they said, why is that? And he said, because if you don't have love worth fighting for, then what type of love really is it? So that goes back, you know, not just in a relationship, but for yourself, for your life, for your happiness, for your career, for your children. Like, do you love them so much that you will do what it takes to become the best version of yourself, to show them to be the leader for them so they can become the best version of themselves? Because they're going to fall in your footsteps, you know. They you tend to become their parents. It's called, That's why it's a family curse. So today I just invite you, choose the right pain. It's coming anyways, pain versus gain, and the right pains for the positive gains and, the, and you know, deleting the wrong pains for the negative gains. I love you all. I hope this helped. Like, share, comment, tag. You know the drill. Put in the comment section what pains you're eliminating this year and what pains you're going to push yourself through to have those positive gains by the end of this year, uh, end of this five-year, ten-year, end of your life. I love you all. Have a great day. It's just a step closer. Where we're all becoming a step closer together to being balanced, baby. Love you all.